Hello, this is Suze at, well, Glass Garden Beads. I really call my boutique studio Willowette Studio. Um, I am going to, I've got some pieces already done as a boutique, and I tend to do, basically, I do the Sergi boutique. That means it's fenced in, like a shape is drawn. Now, these I did prior, just dabbed on some colors, and then over here I added more of a pastel. But I thought, you know, you really should see, basically, it's it's a simple process in at this level. I'm not working with um, the stretcher bars or any of that. So right now I'm going to take you through how, how something so simple can actually become little pieces that we use in the... Um, beaded industry and that's really what this is about I want to show you how we can come up with some unique shapes and then bead around them and uh, okay so right now here's a a, re <laughs> a discarded frying pan I use candle wax candle wax has a, a good um, uh, coverage of beeswax and paraffin and I like the mixture of that and I have, you're, I'm talking loud, and you're also going to hear a fan in the background. We have an industrial fan in here because it's not really healthy to be constantly breathing in anything with um, this beeswax that's in it. So, so for, that's why it's there. It's for health reasons and to get the fumes out. And here's a jaunting tool. And I heat it, my uh, paraffin is highly flammable. So I keep the wax at, at the frying pan level of simmer and 200. And that seems to be fine. I just put the jaunting tool in here. And what we're gonna do is just start with little dots. I'm gonna, and wherever this little dot of wax is, will be white. So, this becomes kind of the background. I have a plan for this. Uh, rather than having all white lines, this just will have little white dots through it. Now for the ones that I've already done, the white line exists, which you'll see when I iron this out, but now I'm going to dot, uh, put uh, the wax draw on top of this so we'll see a white line which you know we all started with white fabric then we're gonna see wherever the wax and lies will be that color that I'm putting it on and then as I it's called color layering so as I add dye it it will show wherever the wax is it will hold the color that uh, the wax was put on top of, and that's called resist. So what I'm gonna do here is just put little dots. Now this isn't really fencing in, this is literally freezing the color underneath with the jaunting tool. Now if I were going to fr do the uh, serti, which means in French fencing in, I can go around here got to see my little card it catches any little dribble because every time the wax drops off it will stay on the fabric so I'm just drawing little shapes inside of this leaf I don't know from my from the video if you'll see it so I'm going to proceed to continue with my shapes and then I'll come back to you so here we go and then I'll turn on the video and we'll do the next step where you'll see color layering. 